The same code of ethics is used in over 100 countries around the world. So that means that two and a half million accountants are bound by the same code of ethics. There have been changes to require auditor rotation more frequently, to prevent or prohibit services that were otherwise allowed by auditors, and generally trying to meet the expectations of the marketplace around the independence of auditors. Ethical behavior for accountants is, first of all, is part of their education from the beginning. But I think that everybody needs to have two things. They have to have tone from the top of their organization that calls for ethical behavior, and they need someone like a mentor who will guide them, encourage them, make them think about performing ethically. You have to be able to walk away from your client or your firm that you work for with your feeling in your stomach that you have done the right thing. And we are trying to encourage accountants to feel ethical, to act ethically, and to be able to go to sleep at night knowing that they have done that. You have to first believe that you want to act ethically. Live by those ethics even when it's tough. It's when you have a difficult decision to make and you say, ethically, I must stick to this decision, even if it means losing my job, even if it means losing a client, that's an individual's demonstration of their ethical. <laughs>